Hi, this is Bob. I'm going to show you here in this little video how to install a PL259 connector on RG11 75 ohm coax with aluminum shield and braid. This is quad shield cable TV coax. This is the kind of coax that they use in the cable TV industry. You can buy this stuff rather cheap. You know you can buy RG6, the smaller size like this, at uh, your big stores, uh, your big uh, department stores, the big chains. And I saw it uh, this afternoon in one of the big stores here while we were buying groceries. Uh, 1995, 100 feet for RG6. RG6 has got nice low loss, uh, especially good for HF and uh, super match for dipoles. Uh, a dipole is uh, what, 72 ohm match, and this cable is 75, it's a darn close match and works really good. So I just thought I'd mention that. I bought this cable on eBay for $45 a hundred feet. This is underground RG11. It's quad shield. It has four shields. I measured the loss. It's advertised as less than 1 dB at 50 megahertz. And I measured the loss at 50 megahertz and found it was 6 tenths of a dB per hundred feet. I also transmitted uh, 300 watts through it for quite a long time. I have also transmitted 300 watts through it using the F connectors that they normally use on this cable and found those to be very good for amateur use as well. So I do uh, recommend the use of the F connectors. But I'm talking today about putting on here the PL259 connector. So the first thing you want to do is take off about two inches of the insulation you just go around with your knife like that cut the insulation loose you can take a pair of pliers if you want to but I think this will come right off because I've already loosened it and here it comes and there's what you want I've got two inches exposed here is the inner shield here and uh, so then you want to take that inner shield and you want to push it back I'll show you the other end here now you want to push that inner shield back see what I've done here and I've cut that inner shield off and inside you see there's a, a shield that's on the center and I have peeled loose the aluminum uh, foil covering that's the second covering so we got the shield which is the first covering the foil which is the second covering you take that off like that then you push this back down and you fold it over and you wind up with something like this right here and I cut those down to about a quarter of an inch long and they just stay there and this one here you peel back. I used my headband magnifier, 10 power magnifier, to find the little joint where that was and peeled it back. You can also just cut it off with a knife if you want to, and it takes a little work. And then here, when you get that foil off, you got this, and then you take your knife again, and you just go around the center here and cut it all the way around with your knife, and then take off this piece here, like that. And here's what you got. If there's any pieces of that uh, of that foam on there, you want to clean those off. Always be sure to put your coax shell on your coax so you don't have to take it apart and do it twice, like I've done more than once. And then you put your coax connector on like this, push it down on there, and you can screw it right down over, and all those little braids in there make contact. Now when you strip that braid off, when you're getting started and you strip that braid off, you're going to find that some of the little aluminum braids break off. That's okay. You can break off half of them and still have a good connection. All you have to do now is just take your soldering iron, solder this, screw your coax connector shell back on, and you're all set. Once in a while, you will find coax that is bigger. It's a little bit bigger. And what I do, I take a small pair of wire cutters like these right here. And I come in just like this and I take off a little bit of this insulation and make a little gap in there, a little V-shaped gap, and that makes it smaller so you can get that PL259 started when you screw it down in. That's it, guys. This is great coax. Try it. You'll like it. And it's like half of the cost or even less of your 50 ohm coaxes and has less loss. So that's it. 73s and good DX.